right people the super eagles are back and they're back in business it's world cup qualifiers time and we are niger football kings here to break down the squad list for the double header so please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos it is going to be epic so nigeria kick off this world cup campaign against lesotho on the 16th of november at home then we go away to play zimbabwe both winnable games and both games i'm excited to see so who's in the squad let's start off with mr victor boniface he's 22 years old by leverkusen 29 club league goals in the league and zero goals for the national team so he's the man in form he is the man on fire victor boniface has hit germany they don't know what has hit them this guy is winning awards left right and center assisting goals left right and center and also banging in the goals which is what he has to do i'm very impressed with this guy i mean people thought his move to germany he's not going to be able to make that step up but he's proving everybody wrong i mean bullying people just bashing through them this guy shows intent so he's going to fill in the void by victor or simon being injured i think he's most definitely the starter there moving on we've now gone moses simon so he's been there for ages he's age 28 plays for nuts 54 club league goals in the league and nine national team goals we now move on to senior man kilichi ihe nacho age 27 plays for leicester city he's got 47 club league goals in the league and 22 national team goals at all levels so leicester city are currently in the championship but i don't think it'll be too long before they return to the premiership and ihe nacho is a pivotal player an important player for them also for the super eagles he scored a beautiful pitch of the goal against saudi arabia making it 2-1 but unfortunately nigeria won unable to hold on to that lead and ended up succumbing but yeah i have a lot of time for here nacho sometimes he's hot sometimes he's cold but i definitely believe that he's a starter but on that deal you better be hot because we require you to win anyway moving on we've got ademola lukman age 26 atalanta he's got 42 club league goals in the league and two goals for the national team moving on we've got someone who's returned back to the fold we've got uma sadiq he's age 26 plays for real sociedad in spain 69 club league goals in the league and five national team goals so this is a guy he's got air strength you know he's tall he's big you know he's very good in the aerial challenges and he's also good with his feet you know he's got a, a very good dexterity on both legs and can beautifully score beautiful goals so yeah he's a guy that i'm happy that's returned to the fold he was injured for a while but yeah i doubt if he's going to start but he's someone an option in nigeria have coming from the bench to sort of just deliver and get into those tricky spaces if we are chasing a goal but i doubt we should be chasing goals if we are facing lesotho in the initial match but they never say never moving on we now have taiwo awoni Yi. so he's age 26 plays for Nottingham forest he's got 52 club league goals and 15 national team goals at all levels now the new kid on the block is mr nathan teller so he's 24 plays for Bayer leverkusen as well and has 20 club league goals and this is his first call up so this is a guy i haven't seen as much of as i would like but hey he's been called up so he must be doing and delivering and must be someone that we would want to look into so i doubt if he's going to start i mean the way i see Pesero. Pesero always just sort of allows the main people to start and hardly ever gives a start to the majority of the strikers that he has, he has called up. But I expect him to come off the bench. So moving on, we've got Terem Mofi and he is age 24, plays for Nice in France, 69 club league goals in the league and four goals for the national team. Another person who's always been there for ages is Mr. Alex Iwobi. He's 27 years old, now plays for Fulham, has 17 club league goals in the league and 10 goals for the national team. So Iwobi, to me, he is our midfield creator, the offensive midfielder. He's always wanted to sort of get in the position that his uncle JJ Okocha was at, but I mean, he's not on that level because sometimes he's hot and sometimes he's very cold, sort of freezing. But he's a player that I very much enjoy. On his day, he's just pivotal for Nigeria. He's somebody that Nigeria cannot do without, but sometimes when he's not on fire you know he sort of just is a passenger in games but very happy that he's in the squad though so we have joe aribo he's age 27 southampton club league goals 34 and two goals for the national team uh moving on we now have frank on yeka and he is age 25 plays for brentford has 14 club league goals in the league and one goal for the national team that goal for the national team just came recently against mozambique and in that match he was on fire i'm not surprised that he scored that goal because he had opportunities to score at least three similar goals but then they were not taking but he kept on persisting 
said he used to play in Denmark and now he plays in England for Brentford as I mentioned yeah he's, he sort of sits in the base of midfield but is a very good player in transitions for Nigeria and I'm happy with him I and mean, he, he doesn't set the world on fire but he's a good player Moving on, we've got Rafael Onyedika. He's 22, plays for Club Brugge, five club league goals and no goals for the national team. Then we now move on to the defenders and the old soldier, Kenneth Omeru. 30 years old, plays for Kasim Pasa in Turkey. He's got nine club league goals and two goals for the national team. So this guy has been there. He's one of these guys that, you know, he would throw his body on the line. A never say die attitude. I mean, look at the way he flew here yeah, to prevent a goal like this was back in the days uh, yeah so he he was back when nigeria won last one the afcon with Mikel Obi and the like so yeah i think he might be captain on the day but he hasn't started so that's not a guarantee but he is there to sort of inspire if you notice ahmed musa has not been called up so he's going to be one of the um, older guys remaining in this team uh, kenneth omero that is then moving on we've got Osei Samuel he's age 25 plays for Fenerbahce he's got 19 club league goals and zero goals for the national team and then we now have Ola Aina I like Ola Aina's style I like the way he plays he's age 26 Nottingham Forest has five club league goals and zero goals for the national team Moving on without Calvin Bassi, he's age 23, plays for Fulham, has one club league goal and no goals for the national team. So as I mentioned, Calvin Bassi is likely to be a starter, partnering Shimi Ajayi at the back as centre back. So yeah, he's a very tenacious customer. You know, at Rangers, he was very dangerous. He then moved to Ajax, now he's returned to uh, the United Kingdom in England with Fulham in the Premier League. So yeah, I'm very happy with Bassi. He's evolved a lot in the squad and he's sort of a player that I expect to always play for the Super eagles he's still young as well so mentioning another one shimi ajay he's age 30 plays for west brom albion has 25 club league goals and no goals for the national team then you now have bruno on yamachi so he's age 24 plays for boa vista has four club league goals no goals for the national team but has started a few of our games recently then jamilu collins who's been with us for a while age 29 cardiff city has four club league goals and zero goals for the national team Okay, Awaziem. So he's Chidozie Awaziem. He's been here for a while too. He's age 26, played for Boa Vista, has nine club league goals and one goal for the national team. He's along a similar fold over. He takes no prisoners. You know, this guy's going to jump in. Yes, he's good at jumping in, but sometimes you have to be a bit more careful with your challenges. I believe he's more prone to getting booked. But yeah, he's a very interesting player. I mean, he's good when he is called upon has not been in the squad as much as he would have liked recently but i mean look at this assist there well not assist but he passed the ball assisted a beautiful goal at the afcon so Madoka Okoye, so at the time he was called 24 Udinese, no club goals, no national team goals. Well, unfortunately, he has now dropped out of the squad and he has been replaced. So Madoka, due to personal reasons, says he's no longer able to make the squad. We don't know why. So he has been replaced by Amas Obasogi, who plays for Bendel Insurance, who was a late call-up. And that is Amas's first uh, call-up to the national team. We're moving on. We now have... Olo Rulenke Ojo, who's age 28, he plays for Aimba Avaba and has zero club league goals and zero goals for the national team. Now, last but not least, is Mr. Francis Uzoho. So he's age 24, plays for Omonia, has zero club league goals and zero goals for the national team. So he has endured a very difficult time recently. He didn't perform as well against Saudi Arabia and didn't do his best against Mozambique. But he has the strength to come back, to return. He's showing his face, he's not hiding away, and he's there to try and make these mistakes better. He has the abilities, but sometimes, I mean, due to a lack of concentration, and nobody's perfect. So anyway, that's the squad. So please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And also watch my video on the screen right now, which is about Nigeria's route to the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Thank you very much. And I'll speak to you guys later. Bye now.